Hi there, my name is Gary. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator from the UK, and I've been using Affinity or three Affinity apps for coming up three years now. Just created this new torn paper brush, um, and I think this one's a little bit more complicated to make work well than the other ones. So I've created four different options. Um, different lightnesses of paper and then a sort of cream paper one. Um, you can add a stroke colour to this. It's not going to be quite as effective as, as most of my other brushes. And then to make this look here is what I'm going to explain now. So if I just come onto my third artboard, I'm going to just draw a curved line come into my brushes and I'm going to apply that brush so even though I've selected the cream one because it's got a, a black stroke color it's gone for a grey so I'm going to turn that off for the moment and there is my torn edge I'm going to slightly push up the size of it so that we can see the details on it a little bit more okay now that we've got our curve I'm going to copy that layer, so I now have two versions of the same brush. I'm going to select the one underneath. Actually, I'm going to select both of them, and I'm going to set them to this butt cap end up in the stroke options. And then on the layer underneath, I'm going to come up to my stroke options again and go for solid line and select that. I'm going to come over to my tools and select the node tool. And then I'm going to click on the end node, and now back to my pen tool, and now I can continue drawing that line. So I'm just going to come around with that, connect that up as one solid shape. I'm going to come down to my color picker, which I've actually set on an average of 17 by 17. And I'm going to select somewhere in here. That's applied it to the stroke, so I'm going to just flip that so it applies it to the fill. And now you have something a bit more like a, a bit of paper with a torn edge. I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to group them. Now I'm going to add an outer shadow. I'm going to offset it and add a slight radius to it. So now, and also what I can do is I can scale with objects on that. If you had this go off the side of the paper, and that's how that would work. So I hope you have fun with my brushes and please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.